What up, Tube? Today is Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, August 15th. So, uh, this is how I'm starting off my morning. I don't know if you guys know what this is. What I'm doing is I'm flushing out my pool. My pool pump. That way I could uh, have a nice clean pool. I'm about to head into the shop right now. I'm going to leave right now in a few more minutes. Check out my pup. Hi, baby girl. So it's pretty early right now. It's about 7.50. We don't open until 9 o'clock. Uh, today's the last day of uh, crunch time for uh, back to school haircuts for this week. Because next week is uh, APU. So APU is another, another, there's two waves here. We got regular school and then we have this uh, back to school for, for APU students. So, um... Right now, I'm about to head to the shop. So yesterday morning, I got up early, and I was uh, on social media, and I, you know, as I always do, I go on Instagram, check, see, see what's going on on, on uh, with all my barber barber buddies, and you know, what's going on in our industry. And lately, I've been following this, this gentleman. His name is Tyreek Jackson. And basically, he's a, a mentor to, to you know, guys like myself. But it just says, as you might see me as a mentor for you, He's a mentor to me, you know, so I, I really like to listen to what he has to say and he has such good knowledge and feedback for the barber industry and um, I suggest you guys check him out. I'm going to leave a link right here uh, to his Instagram so you guys can follow him. He does a live broadcast every Tuesday morning at 6 o'clock our time here in Los Angeles, uh, 9 o'clock uh, Eastern time. He's in the East, East Coast, so uh, it's a great show, guys. You guys really need to watch him. He has a lot of knowledge out there for you guys to check out one of the things he was talking about yesterday <clears throat> that really caught my eye and he was talking about barbershop owners and not only to barbershop owners but he was talking to to uh, uh he was talking to the barber industry as far as barbers goes you know and he was talking about picking the right shop or if you're a barbershop owner picking the right kind of employee to come work for you you know it, it, and the two types of uh of uh, shops there is which is you know or or commission and what's better for you? What's better for your shop? What's better for your business? You know, what's better for you if you're a, a, a barber, you know? And um, he, the way he explained it was interesting because he was just stating that, um, you know, you want to be successful. At, like me, I'm going to say for myself, I'm a barbershop owner. So I want to be successful. So I want to bring in the right people to my shop, you know, to work. Because for me, it's important that all my barbers are well trained, well groomed, well uh, 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 they do good haircuts and they got good attitudes. They come to work on time. Those are all important factors to me. If you know, I don't expect my workers to work as hard as I do because I work hard. But I expect you to do pull your part, you know, and show up on time and do what you got to do. You know, um, I don't think that's a lot to ask. You know, so. What he was talking about in this in in in, in his uh, session was that he was talking about bringing in people and homegrown people that you could bring in and groom them yourself, and that means train them and get them ready basically for the barbershop, you know. And the way you do that is by going to barber schools and bringing in students and bringing them in when they're young and training them and and, and showing them how you want things done and you know and how things should be done. That way, you know. One of, the, one of the things that really, really stuck in my mind that he said was, you know, you can't buy experience. You can't. You can't go, like, if you're going to be a barber, it, it, is that you can't go out and purchase experience. You know, experience is something that has to be grown into you, you know. So if you're a young barber, you have to experience everything that has to do with a barber business in order to excel. You know, you can't. Nobody starts off great. Nobody starts off good. You, everybody has to be grown into something and flourish and grown. You know, has to mature into something uh, 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 to a master barber or to a barbershop owner. You know, nothing starts off easy. So um, you can't buy experience. And what he meant by that was like, you know, when you're hiring people, you know, do you want to go hire a, a barber that 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 has established? experience already who has a clientele who's going to come into your shop this is if you're doing booth rental of course you know you rent out your booth and you, you know you, you are uh, what are you going to do you're going to go to a shop that that has really nice chairs all beautiful and all nice or are you going to go to a shop that 
is going to show you the, the, the business, you know, a mentor. Find yourself a shop that has a mentor there that's going to help you, help you grow in this business, you know, teach you. Because um, you could go ruin a ruin, rent a booth. Anybody could go rent a booth. There's a lot of booths that are for rent, you know what I mean? But all that guy is going to supply is a place for you to work. He's not going to supply customers. He's not going to supply anything for you. And you're going to be responsible for everything after that. When you when they have a shop like mine, I provide everything. I provide Sanix. I provide, you don't have to clean. You don't have to do nothing. You have to come here and work and learn and get smart and get good. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I expect from my from my barbers. So what he was talking about made a lot of sense to me. And, and you know, and it, damn, the thing that stuck the most was you can't buy experience. You can't. You have to go out and earn your own experience. Everybody has to earn it. Everybody has to get there. You want that 10-year plaque? Guess what? You got to wait 10 years for it, you know? Eventually, you're going to get there. Time is just time. You're going to you're gonna get there. But it's what you do with that time in between. Are you just going to sit behind a chair and just cut hair? You know, five, six haircuts a day and that's it? And you're good, you know what I mean? Because I know barbers like that, that that do that. They go work five, six haircuts a day and they make their 50, 60, 80 bucks, 100 bucks, and they're happy. And they're good. They're good with that. No, but, or do you want to excel? Do you want to get better? Do you want to get bad? Do you want to get badass? Do you want to get fast? Do you want to make a lot of money? Then, it, then if you do, then you got you to gotta work hard at it and you got to build up your skills. Okay, guys, I'm here at the shop right now. I feel like I'm rambling on. Uh, I'm about to open it up. It's still uh, 8.15 right now, so uh, it's Wednesday. Uh, nobody's here yet, so I... Uh, Back to school starts tomorrow, so I expect it to be busy. See what's up. I I I think I have to take mom to the doctor today at one at two o'clock. My brother might take her, so if I don't have to take her, then I'm gonna just probably stick around here and work all day. Um, finish this day strong today and see what's up. All right, guys. Uh, I'll post up some cuts. Think about what I said. Check out Tyreek Jackson. He's really really good. He's uh there's a lot of knowledge there, man, and there's a lot of knowledge for people there that are trying to find shops to work at or or bar or barbershop owners like me that are looking for people to work for you. You know? Alright guys, first customers pulling up. I'm gonna go in there and start to get to work. Alright guys, talk to you later. <laughs> Okay, right now it's probably, uh, it's 11.32. Just came to the bank right now. I got a little slow spot at the shop, so I took off, uh, get some change, get some lunch. Gonna go back, try to finish this day off. Uh, I'm not gonna have to leave after all to go take moms to the doctor. My brother's gonna handle that. So I'm just gonna work the day through. One of the barbers uh, didn't come through today, so we're uh, back down to four barbers again today. So luckily I got four guys because it, it's been extremely busy. The schools here in our city and, and in the city of Azusa where I live at and where I work at, uh, school starts tomorrow. So uh, there's going to be a lot of kids, a lot of kids, a lot of kids I've never even seen before are coming through. So uh, we're just handling them, taking them down. I'm going to post some pics of the pair haircuts I do uh, after. Uh, I, I recorded one haircut already, probably get another one in for the vlog. Um, you know, kind of just reflecting a little bit about about what we were talking about earlier. Uh, uh, um, about, you know, you can't buy experience, guys, you know. It's the truth, man. You, you really, experience is just something that, that you have to, everybody has to go through. You know, it's part of life. It's part of everything, you know, and, and, and how you handle it and how you come out of it is it, it, what's going to make you different from you and everybody else, you know. It's how you handle it and how you educate yourself and, and you know, stay humble, work hard, work hard. If you don't work hard, you can't have this, you know. That, that's just the, the name of the game. You have to work hard. So there's a price for everything and, and um, you know, I'm just going to keep keep doing what I'm doing. Keep working hard and, and, and keep learning. I got a lot. Of, I got a lot to learn still. I got a lot to learn, uh, but I also have a lot of knowledge to dish too. So uh, I, it goes both ways, you know. It's like I was telling earlier, everybody has to have a mentor, man. I, I, I had mine. I still have one. I'm still looking for another. I still look up to other people. 
you know, I, and I listen to their advice and I listen to what, what they say. Um, so with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go back to the shop, finish this day off. I'll try to do an outro before the day's over. Uh, make sure you check out. I am it's well, I'll, I'll post, post it down, but his name is Tyreek Jackson on Instagram. Interesting gentleman. So check it out, guys. All right, I'm gonna head back to the shop. school uh back to school haircuts are over um tomorrow school starts right here so it probably won't be as busy as it was today but today was crazy another 24 haircut day for me uh of course i was shorthanded but there was four of us but it was non-stop all day long uh it turned out to be busier than yesterday remember i was telling you it didn't seem as busy while well, it, it was busier uh but uh, uh tomorrow's thursday tomorrow's another day um i'll be here again See what's up. Uh, hey guys, make sure you guys check out Mr. Tyreek Jackson. Like I told you guys, he's he's a mentor and an educator and he's spitting out all kinds of good knowledge out there, guys. You guys gotta check him out. I left the comments. In my comments, I'll leave his uh, Instagram so you guys could check him out. Uh, he does a daily uh, a show every Tuesday morning. Check it out, guys. It's interesting, interesting. I'm gonna get into that more myself and uh start listening a little bit more but guys thanks for watching another daily edition of big al's barber vlogs and i'll see you guys tomorrow